Yeah. So Dave Shirk is the senior vice president of worldwide marketing at uh, at HP. Hi guys. And uh, Dave, welcome. How are you guys? Oh, How's everything going? To the Cube. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Um, so uh, the Cube, as you heard, we are, we are here live in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, for HP Discover SiliconAngle.com's continuous coverage. We are the reference point for tech innovation. Uh, go to SiliconAngle.com daily, where you can get all the news and analysis and opinion on all the latest trends. And he, we're here inside the Cube to go deep and get extract the knowledge around HP Discover and why HP is so important. I'm John Furrier from, from Silicon Valley, and I'm here with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante from Wikibon.org, the real-time research and advisory community, and we're here with Dave Shirk, who's the Senior Vice President of Worldwide Marketing at HP. Welcome, David. Glad to be here. So, Discover, is this... Uh, is a lot this of excitement out there, isn't there? Yeah. Is this uh, your, your fingerprints all over the show? Uh, uh, you know what? I have to claim that the uh, I've got a great team. They've uh, spent a lot of energy uh, pulling this together, making sure the content's right, the booth areas, the activities, the connections, the ne networking that's going on. There's plenty of things we to discover nine, out nine here. We have nine megs so. up, so we've got a good <laughs> live stream going here, thanks to you. So the 20 hours of broadcast. No, that's great. Thanks to you guys. So, no, but good, good show here, great messaging. Um, you know, ESSN group looks like they're strong. Great response from the keynote in terms of the messaging. and Yeah, overall. Dave did a great job today. It was it, it a wonderful was presentation. Very strong. Um, but we're talking about HP's story because people want to know what's HP. HP's got a lot of strength. Yeah. We were talking about that earlier around the muscle that HP has, even though some's been cut off, maybe to the bone here and there. Um, it's well documented, we won't go there. But in reality, it's still a huge company. Cloud is a market that's growing, it's a done deal, as Steve Tate said yesterday. Very disruptive, and HP's got a lot of muscle. So, you know, how do you tell that story, and, and can you share with us the vision of what's coming on because we've seen a lot of strong execution from HP. Yeah. The long-term plans are kind of coming together. The new CEO is in the nine months. Share with us kind of sure. what's... You're relatively what, new. You've been on, uh, what about, a little over, over, a, year. over a year. Just right? over a year, okay. yeah, yeah. So, no, I can relate completely. Um, you know, coming on board, I think one of the things, you know, we spend billions of dollars in research and development. There's tons of innovation. Uh, after the last five years, 40 plus acquisitions, and so I spent a lot of time with customers and uh, going around the globe and everybody kept asking the same thing. So kind of where are you, you know, got great technology, but where are you guys going with this thing, right? What's the uh, kind of the mission to, to what's behind this? So we just spent a lot of time kind of working through that, a lot of research, and uh, there were kind of three key trends that came out of it that were very, very common when we talked to all of the clients. Um, you know, the biggest one was technology. It wasn't just the cloud, right? Because we've got this, you know, we've got this kind of parallel path, which was the internet created an enormous change eight, nine years ago that everybody had to deal with. Well now, not only do we have the cloud, and they're all trying to figure out what to do with that, but we also have mobile computing, right? They're, they're not the same thing, and so, you know, when you spend time with clients, they're kind of struggling with how that all needs to kind of come together. And then on top of that, you know, one of the stats we saw uh, yesterday was that the information explosion, you know, we talk about it, but I don't think everybody realizes that all the data that's passed through the internet since its inception was actually replicated once again, so a doubling in one year of the past kind of 17 years of information. So when you kind of tie those pieces together, that gives us a huge technology problem, right? It reminds me of that, that, um, that chart where it shows the, the history of the, of the, of the earth and, and where the humans fit on that, on that timeline and you know, <laughs> dinosaurs, but, and humans are like that little sliver. Right, right, it's, like, right. Yeah. it's just, it's yeah. exactly, you know, we're gonna look back at this and probably yeah. laugh, right, because I always tell everybody, what's after cloud, right, and that's, you know, well, first we gotta survive cloud. <laughs> and uh, so you got the technology, the other piece is um, all the business models across every industry are changing. It's not just about building a product, it's wrapping it with some set of services. And then you've got the demographic change. You know, what a lot of people don't realize, unless you walk the show floor out here, is that uh, half of the workforce globally are millennials. These are people that, you know, came out of the womb connected to social networking, right? So when it comes to kind of thinking about how they do business and what they want when they enter a company and the kind of consumer orientation they have is very different. So when we saw that piece, we're like, you know what? We tested a lot of words. And I think the thing that was probably the best said, a customer stood up at a meeting and we were kind of going through and said, you know, what, what do you, what's your value to the business? What are you doing, right? And they said, it's really simple. Our entire mission is to turn the business on, any segment, where it wants it, how it wants it, when it wants it. And that was kind of the birth of the words, instant on, and then it evolved to the instant on enterprise. And so when we did that, we looked at that piece, and that's kind of how, how the genesis of that idea came to play. And it's, it's playing out really, really well with clients. 
And it wouldn't mean anything if it wasn't for the hardware, software, and services wrapped around that and a bunch of solutions we've done. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty well received, and we've got a long way to go, but uh, really yeah, I mean, resonating. One of the things we've been impressed with is we, we've, we've seen the, the meat on the bone with ESSN and the execution, and you know, we're seeing the vision with Instant On and, and, and mobile and the end-to-end. And, and it is early, but it's a, it's a, it's a great vision. Um, HP's had some good visions in the past. I mean, the Agile Enterprise is, is fantastic, but it wasn't. It never became actionable. How do you make this vision actionable? You yeah. said it's early, and we recognize that. Where do you where do you see this in a couple of years? Uh, no, it's great, great piece. I mean, what, actually, what, it's interesting you bring up the Agile Enterprise because one of the first teams that uh, I had a chance to go interview was the team that launched that. And I said, so what, you know, it was great. The story Fantastic, was great. Right. I remember yeah. as a competitor, you know, hiding yeah. from that, right? That was one of the I mean, things. A lot of times competitors stole that. Exactly. You know, it was, it was right? a great flattery. And they said, you know, actually the thing we probably didn't do well enough was we didn't realize how important services were mm. to the overall equation, right? We had the technology, we had the hardware, we had some software, but we didn't have the services footprint. And so that was one of the lessons as we kind of look through this is that each time we move forward is not enough just to have the hardware and software, but between ourselves, our partners, there's that services piece. How are we going to bring the customer down that path, take them on that journey to that destination called the Instant On Enterprise? And so that's one of the pieces we really had to figure out how that played out in the overall story and strategy. One so of the things, we have a, you know, uh, a unique audience with this live TV thing that we've been doing it for a year now. Kind of the first year was kind of experimental and now it's exploding. And you're, it's a lot young audience. I mean, we have a lot of gamers through in some of our syndicated networks that pick up the content that watch it, and you know their demographics are you know twenty to fifty because there's some gamers yeah, that are in the, the sweet zone there. Um, but for the young guys out there watching right now, we you know have some traffic coming in here. Um, they don't know HP, so tell them what HP does. I mean, what is HP? They're gamers. You know, they know they probably have HP equipment. They probably print on right, HP devices. Right. They might not know the Superdome is out there, or they might not know about Blade servers. You know, so the average guy out there that, that's HP, tell them what HP does. I mean, I think, that, I think the easiest thing is, at the core of it, you know, if you go back to the origins and the roots of HP, HP is about innovation, right? And from the very early days uh, of Hewlett and Packard, um, when they brought it together in Silicon Valley, that's what it was about. It was about giving an environment where new and creative ideas and how technology could essentially drive a purpose in the world. Right? And so when you look across HP, you know, HP's got lots of pieces, right? We've got our PCs and all of our tablets and so forth. We've got our printers and lots of multifunction devices. But a lot of people don't realize the largest part of HP is the business piece, right? How small, medium, and large enterprises use technology to drive their business. How they go to market, how do they serve their customers, how do they serve employees, and how they do that in a very advanced and unique way. And there's a lot of leverage within that. So to the young community that's out there, it really is about you know how do we bring some of this incredible innovation to the market and put it to work in business on a day-to-day -day basis. That's a big part of what we're all about and a big part of what we're showcasing at the event this week. We're getting, we're getting the hook, but I do have one final question. Sure. Um, for the last 10 to 30 seconds or so. Um, what's the plan to get the word out? I mean, people, you talk about this is an interesting conversation. The new, you know, we talked about, you know, let it be or live and let die in the Paul McCartney <laughs> In theme. the McCartney, yeah. You know, if you let it be, and it's kind of same old, same old HP. Um, we're seeing some energy around HP with the management team. Um, you guys are going for it, it's obvious to us. Um, yep. What's the new plan? I mean, obviously, you got to do newer things. How are you going to get the word out, marketing-wise? So I think, you know, marketing-wise, this is the other change, right? It's all digital. Right? We, we are pretty event-driven culture as a company, and one of the changes that we're going through is really embracing social media, embracing the new communities, embracing anything we can possibly that's digital. And so we've been trying to think forms like this. The like Cube's the cube. a great yeah. path, right? Throughout this, we've got the buzz going. We've got all kinds of blogging yeah. happening throughout the event. That's a really key part of the strategy. And so the, the Instant On Enterprise campaign that we launched back in January, the entire thing is digital. Every forum, where our folks that we want to talk to are hanging out, sharing stories with them, telling stories, and, and just creating that overall community of all the folks that are technical, business, IT, around the world, all their partners, to kind of come together and really drive the knowledge of HP forward, and that's what it's all about for us. How do we drive that conversation? Dave Shirk, thank you very much Great. for coming on. I love the energy um, that you bring. Uh, terrific event here, congratulations on, on pulling it off to you and your team. And, uh, Thanks for coming on theCUBE. No, great. Thanks, guys. Keep right. up the good work. All right, yeah, Dave, that's fantastic. Spread the word. Thanks. <laughs>